Castro has an assist. Chris Lynch, the only assist at 19-22. And here we go, we got a fight. It's Peruo, Peruo feeding Campbell. He got off on him early. Nick Peruo, how about that? Oh, my goodness. Campbell at 6'1", 200 pounds. Peruo at 5'9", 180. Pummeled John Campbell. And I think right there, he just solidified his spot on the playoff roster. Not only did he play hard, and he wasn't taking it from anybody, and he let the Bullies know right there. Both players will retire to the locker room as there's only 29 seconds remaining. And Mike Havlin saying, okay, guys, let's just lick our wounds tonight and get ready for tomorrow night. Look at the smile on the face of Coach Peter Horacek. He's proud not only of what the guys have done as far as putting the puck in the net, but he's proud about how they've stood up for each other, how they've stood up for themselves, how they've represented themselves tonight on the ice. Well, one note that has to be made, and the, the tough thing about Nick Perillo is that the fact that we will point out is that Perillo cannot make the playoff roster, and here's the reason why. He came, he played in the American League two games, so technically he wasn't coming from college. He was coming from another league. You have to play at least five in the ECHL. Unfortunately, at, at first game against Roenick, he scored his first goal, but he also got suspended for hitting from behind. It was a, a call that was made, and unfortunately, this kid uh, isn't going to be able to do it. Let's take a look at it again, but you got to love the passion, and again, he had taken enough. Oh, absolutely. It's a shame, Joe, because he had to sit out that game because he would have gotten the five games in with tonight and tomorrow night to qualify him, but because he had to sit out the game, you're absolutely right, that prevents him from coming, being placed onto the playoff roster, and that will hurt the Titans because you want a guy with that feisty attitude. You want